Hello everyone, Impy Hater here, and welcome back to my uh, Let's Play for Metal Gear. This is part three. As I said before, this is going to be a series that will eventually lead up into me doing a big boss run walkthrough on each of the Metal Gear games. And this is the third and final part of the, uh, of the run for Metal Gear. And the next episode will actually be doing the run and I'll be kind of showing you the ropes of how to get through that in the time limits required. That being said, though, we are following along with the story in this particular Let's Play. So in the last episode, we ended up wrapping out by finishing up a good chunk of Building 2. And we've actually um, gone over to Building 1 in order to free Dr. Petrovich Madnar's uh, daughter. We've done that by going uh, via the underground passage. And I'm out actually about to head up... Uh, stairs and we're gonna head out using the, the desert which I think is easier so we're gonna go ahead and punch this guy I need to equip key card number four and we're gonna head out so same path back as we did uh, whenever we first came to building two All right, so we're going to head up a floor. And let's see, I think we're going to go to any card number five, if memory serves me correctly. Actually, no, we need card number one to start off with. I'm going to pop into here. This is key card number six. I am Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar. Metal Gear is 20 kilometers north of this building. It's located 100 floors under building three. There is only one way to destroy Metal Gear. Attach plastic explosives to the legs of the unit where the armor is thin. Unfortunately, there's a sequence. <laughs> it's never that easy. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, and after that I don't remember. So, um, he does tell us at least that you have to attach 16 sets, so he just doesn't tell you which is the last one, so, um, it is right, however. So, uh, you will, uh, basically have to deal with that. Now, the caveat, if you play the original Metal Gear, uh, whenever it first came out, um, if you dropped the C4 in the wrong place, you had to reset the entire fight. It was terrible. It's not that bad today, though. The card that gets you out of Building 2 is with Bloody Brad. He's vulnerable to attacks from a rocket launcher. Well, it just so happens that I have a rocket launcher. Good luck. Thank you. Oh god. Ah, I hate these guys so much. I hate this floor. It's a good thing that in the actual um, big boss run, <laughs> we don't actually spend a whole lot of time on this floor. Uh, 
All right, so it takes four shots apiece. And that's going to give us key card number seven. All right, so now we're going to need, I think card number, is it card number seven? No. Three, two, okay, it's two. Because uh, we need to go in and we need to get the compass, so. this door, we actually have to get Jennifer to open. This is Jennifer, I'll open the door. Over. Sweet. So now we get the compass. Actually, we need to go to the other elevator so we can go down. Actually, this is five, isn't it? Yeah. So we're just going to kind of run. <laughs> So now we're going to the first floor. fill on plastic explosives, which we're going to need for Metal Gear. But we're actually uh, still a little bit of ways away from fighting Metal Gear, because we have to also fight Coward Duck, or Dirty Duck as he's known in this version of the game. Okay, so there are a bunch of scorpions out here. And if you get infected, you have the um, antidote to their poison, which we did get in this building as well. I will say, though, we do not get that item whenever we go through a big boss run, which makes it a little harder, and we have to be kind of on the run fast. We have to get through this area quickly. And multiple times, I might add, too. So, Big Boss is going to call us, and he's going to say, get in the truck on the right. Over. So, he wants us to get in the truck on the right. Arr, the truck has been... Oh, no. We're all the way back at the beginning of the area. What was Big Boss thinking? Well, now he won't answer our call. Hmm. Suspicious.
So we're having to backtrack because we trusted what Big Boss told us to do. Actually, we're already here. Oh, I was about to take the elevator again. So now we have to traverse this again. This time we're not going to trust Mr. Big Boss. Make sure you equip the... Uh... <laughs> oh no, we're infected. That's why we got the antidote. Just use the antidote and you'll be fine. Alright, so we're going to need... card seven and once we get in we're immediately going to need some explosives we're gonna head up here and here's our elevator Long, ominous elevator. Gee, I wonder what's here. It'll be a little bit before we face Metal Gear, but this is where we go. Alright, so we're getting a call. This is Jennifer. There should be an oxygen cylinder on the other side of the wall. Over. Cool. Cool. So we actually can't access the door on the right, so we're going to go ahead and head to the left. We're getting called. This is Big Boss. Solid Snake, abort the mission. Return immediately. This is an order. Turn off your device at once. Over. Well, that's kind of mysterious. We don't have the key, by the way, to open that door, so we're going to head back use the oxygen cylinder that we just got to go into the deep water. If you remember, one of the people that uh, we had rescued earlier said that there was a secret path leading to the underwater way from Building 2 to Building 3. So we're about to take that. And this will actually lead us to the next boss. I'm trying to remember what's in this room. Do we even have the key card for this yet? Key card number one. Oh god. Don't want to go there. <laughs>
There's a little bit of RNG to this. Alright, so here is the deep water. We're going to go ahead and equip the oxygen cylinder. Call. This is Resistance Leader Schneider. I know who the Outer Heaven boss is. No way, the Outer Heaven boss is. Oh no. Can't be good. Yeah, fill up on ammo, and then we're going to go face our next boss. Here, full up. I am dirty duck. Shoot if you dare. I'll shoot. I'm trying to step forward to activate that so I could deal with it. Just in case he happens to get me. Card number eight. This is Jennifer. Dirty Duck has card eight. My brother is among the captives. Please don't kill him. If anything happens to my brother, I won't help you anymore. Well, I've already sa saved him. Thanks for saving me. I'm Jennifer's brother. When you make your escape, climb the ladder on the left. Noted. Alright, so we've saved some more people. And now we're going to head to Metal Gear. Just to make sure we have enough, though, I'm going to go ahead and pop into here. Um, card number three, four, five, six, six. Because we want to make sure we have full up on plastic explosives, we're going to need 16 for the actual fight. And we need a couple in order to uh, get into the room to... All right, last time that we get to head out here. Uh, I 
guess we'll use a ration. And equip some body armor, just in case. Oh boy, I'm out. Oh, that's not good. I'm out, considering that I, uh... That's weird. Considering that I was filling up my ammo with, uh... With that fight. Anyway. That's fine. We're about to the end anyway. One final trek down, and we got two bosses to go. Metal Gear and the final boss. Alright, so these cameras actually got lasers on them, so we do not want to be hit by these. Thank you for helping me. The Outer Heaven boss is Foxhound's commanding officer, Big Boss. He's behind all of this. Don't let him trick you. That's not good. I don't know if this is... Yeah, it's a gas area. But remember, we have to punch this. And blow it open. And what key card is this? This is eight. No. This one. Yes. Okay, so unfortunately there's also um, explosives on the ground here. Usually I could remember where I, I used to be able to remember where they were back when I was doing big boss runs on this game, but it's been too long. Alright, so Jennifer, you're just gonna have to make a run for it. As long as you have some rations left, you'll be okay. Over. So you basically have to dart through this, and this is actually where the one ration that comes in whenever you are going through a big boss run in this game, because uh, there's no way to turn this off, and you're almost guaranteed to die um, against the floor if you don't have the uh, at least one ration on. So we're going to run through it. And we're fighting Metal Gear, so... So right, left, or right, right, left, sorry. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, and right. So that is Metal Gear. Emergency, emergency. The self-destruct sequence for Outer Heaven has been initiated. All personnel are ordered to evacuate immediately. So we can use up our cigarettes in order to give us more time. And we're going to want to have our body armor for this. Solid Snake, I've been expecting you. 
I'm the supreme commander of the Foxhound unit and the leader of the Fortress of Outer Heaven, Big Boss. I gave this mission to you, a rookie, thinking I could use you to fool the rest of the world. But you were too good. You went too far. Solid snake. I'm not going down alone. I'm taking you with me. Prepare to die. Famous last words. Take a rocket to the face. There we go. Jennifer's brother did say climb up the left ladder. Because the other two end up cutting out too early. This is Solid Snake. Metal Gear has been destroyed. Operation Intrude N313 was a success. No big deal. Job done. That's all. No big deal. Just a little bit of PTSD. I'm coming back now. Over. Tunes in the radio and uh, he gets Radio K and K. We have a special news flash. Today before sunrise, a large earthquake was recorded in the vicinity of Galsburg, South Africa. Presenting the staff of Metal Gear. Alrighty, so here are the credits for the game. Though, there is something at the very end. I think a lot of people have gotten used to the Marvel way of doing things in their movies. Well, these games have been doing this since the 80s. So from here, the games only continue to get more crazy, and the stories actually get really, really involved. Uh, this is definitely the easy, uh, simplest of the stories to understand, though. You don't really understand what Big Boss's reasoning was, and that is something that we end up learning a lot about later in the game. Or games, I should say. Is uh, why he was uh, running both Foxhound as well as Outer Heaven. That being said, though, um, this is going to be where we wrap up and let the uh, credits finish rolling, but uh, that way we get to see kind of how the game ends. That being said, though, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is uh, running through a big boss run. So this will be uh, should be a single episode because uh, you have to complete the game um, in under 45 minutes. So uh, and that's a pretty tight timeline, but. If you know where everything is, you can probably clear it in 38 to 39 if you uh, don't make a bunch of stops and if you kill the bosses quickly. So uh, we're going to talk about that, uh, obviously, in the next episode. And once it gives us our ranking, I'll talk about what happens in the uh, big boss run with regards to what we have to accomplish. Because it is a pretty... I wouldn't say uh, it's really, really hard, but it is difficult. I'll say th I'll say that to uh, finish the game uh, with the requirements that it has. So once you see presented by Sony, I'm sorry, Konami, that's basically it. Can you hear me, Solid Snake? I'm not dead. Someday, I'll get even with you. So needless to say, Big Boss, somehow, despite that nuclear explosion, I'm assuming, uh, he is some somehow alive. Someday, we will meet again. Alrighty, so uh, difficulty is original, playtime is an hour and 35 minutes, I saved three times, continued 12 times, at 35 alerts, kill a bunch of people, <laughs> I used a bunch of rations. A uh, special item, by the way, is uh, something that you'll actually get after you complete the game. Uh, you'll end up getting a bandana, which allows you to have unlimited ammo. Uh, that being said, you cannot use that on a subsequent playthrough if you're going to go for the big boss run. And in our case, we got the code name Deer. I think the only way that we can get a lower code name is to um, basically play the game on easy. That being said, though, 
the way that a, a big boss run is going to work is we have to complete the game in uh, 44 minutes and 59 seconds, so underneath 45 minutes. Uh, we can save as many times as we want. You cannot continue at all. You have to basically replay from a save. Uh, you you can only be uh, you can only trigger alert mode eight times, and those eight times are actually baked into the game. So uh, there basically are a few, and we'll talk about those whenever we kind of start up the uh, walkthrough uh, for big boss mode in the next um, in the next episode. And then uh, rations used, you're actually limited to one in a big boss run, uh, and you have to have killed no humans. So. Um, the ration, of course, as I said before, you're likely to use uh, on the floor leading to the electric floor leading to big, uh, to big boss and Metal Gear, and that completing all of that stuff in a single playthrough will earn you the code name Big Boss. So, with that though, I think that's going to wrap it, everyone. In the next episode, we're going to go through a Big Boss run and look out for that video here in probably the next couple of days. Otherwise, thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.